Morning guys, Wandering Beast here, and right off the bat, if you see me looking at my monitor, it's because I'm trying out a new lens. I'm going for a wider, this is the uh, Panasonic Lumix, the 7 to 14 for the Micro Four Thirds. It is a constant 4, and I want to see how it does with this sort of low light. I don't have any lights in the garage, just using the light coming from the garage door today. And as the title says, I have another talking head video for you. I told you guys after I had lots of experience on some of those new parts that I put on the bus this last November that I would be doing a video on it. And today is talking about the turbo. Talking about the turbo, the turbo pedestal. Um, I did decide when I opened that up, there wasn't any giant leaking from the turbo, but I knew the O-rings could be redone. The EPV valve on the pedestal itself, if you guys aren't aware, is kind of a, a waste control valve. It isn't a waste gate necessarily, but it does control kind of the uh, open butterfly valve that's on the uh, exit of the exhaust port to the turbo. All right, our package from KC Turbos has arrived. Uh, this is the Garrett. This is the EPV BV uh, delete pedestal. Um, just looking at it for sizing, looks like everything should bolt up. Uh, there were some folks online that were having issues with not the same uh, tolerances and heights uh, for the turbo, but this looks like the closest thing um, to be able to connect everything over. So obviously the biggest difference is you can see how much leaking we were getting out of the turbo out of the front, out of the valve in the back. Um, you can rebuild these. These rebuild kits are about 100 bucks. This was just over 100 bucks to delete the whole thing. Uh, for the, uh, the actual electronic piece, I do have a 470 ohm, one watt resistor coming um, from Amazon, and we're gonna get that put in so the computer doesn't care that that's not plugged in anymore. All right, one of the things running the new pedestal is we are getting rid of the exhaust pressure back valve here. Um, some guys will cut these apart, they will weld them wide open. Um, this was just kind of a, a leaky junk pile, so I opted to upgrade uh, just for the non-backplate uh, version. Uh, it still has the 1.15 outlet. It should line up to the old one, as well as, there's that beautiful shot of the new Casey wheel in there, um, as well as it should line up right up to the three bolts of this fan style. Um, some of that I know the F-Series has a kind of a seven bolt, and that's only because you guys have a wastegate as well. There are no wastegates on the Garrett 38. Uh, turbo in a van. I wanted to delete that because I've heard that just causes problems and when I took a look at it there wasn't oil gushing out everywhere but it wasn't just super clean. It looked not great at all. So I wanted to delete that just to eliminate any future issues, replace o-rings and then I kind of wanted to bite the bullet and buy a brand new turbo. Buy a bigger turbo something fancy exciting and new and casey turbos has been a forefront of the 7.3 turbo industry for a while so i got a hold of them and i was like let's do this let's do stage one do you think i should do stage two i see you guys don't necessarily have anything directly for the van these are my specs this is what i'm looking for and they basically got back to me and was like yeah i know a lot of guys do our turbos I can't tell you if it bolts right up or what you need to do. I was like, really? Um, you know, I've got, it's a 1.0 going to the 1.15 and you can't tell me if this will bolt up. No, I know a lot of guys do it. I don't know what they do. I wasn't great customer service. So I still wanted to go with Casey Turbos, although I, kind of just had this bitter taste afterwards you guys know as we've already done a video on the xdp up pipes so those were all going to be new going in giving me proper pressure for the turbo and i went ahead and did a little more research and decided well what happens if i just rebuild my stock turbo you know what does that get me and casey turbos does have a rebuild kit all right, so we'll get the pedestal on. Um, another exciting thing we've got over here is obviously the full rebuild kit. So full O-ring, seals, um, oilers, 360 bearings. That'll be a nice touch onto the turbo, as well as we picked up one of their balanced uh, compressor and outtake wheels. Um, already basically balanced, set up. This one is designed for the van, at least on their website. It was one of the only things they said was set up for the van. Uh, it potentially has a larger fan on this side larger wheel 
Uh, the compressor wheel looks beautiful. Uh, we'll put some close-up shots and we'll, uh, I'll show you when we actually rebuild the turbo. Alright guys, the aftermath continues. Not sure what you'll be able to pick up in a uh, little time lapse that I did, but the amount of oil and stuff in here, I don't know that it was surprising. Uh, I just pulled off the heat shield uh, from the center section and the amount of soot in here I think was surprising. Um, to see the exhaust wheel and you know some of its bearings are really good but I think the seals are shot the amount of oil that was coming through here um, was probably a bit much everything else is looking pretty good I think it should be fairly straightforward uh, to get everything put back together and I'll probably check a few YouTubes just in case but this is kind of where we're at right now all right to give you guys an idea of what those compressor wheels look like that's the one that came off there's a beautiful KC turbo of course it is all balanced as well as it's pre-torque so if you see that paint line uh, when you put it back together you line that up and you know you've got a good free torque on there and then uh, your exhaust side you can see how much larger how much more air that can push and capture it's uh, it's pretty impressive all right it's going together pretty well just getting ready to torque the wheel down uh, luckily Riff Raff Diesel has a uh, kind of a installation instructions uh, I couldn't find anything where as I bolt this housing back together what the torque spec was until I went there and then um, using the torque wrench for about 17 pounds foot pounds um, is about what's on there for everything um, Riff Raff as well as a couple good youtubers uh, living on wheels uh, has a good one I'm pretty sure he's referencing the Riff Raff uh, guide that's on there but we're getting her put back together all right, got a half mil on there. I think he's a 19 on the back side. And uh, you can see the paint marks should line up. So your torque spec should be about that 10 foot pounds. Spins beautifully, no interference. We're gonna keep putting it together. There's lots of amazing videos out on YouTube about guys rebuilding these turbos, guys. These Garrett 38s, um, different versions of the Garrett. This stock turbo has seen some use. Um, it so far that I can tell is totally stock has never been replaced in the 480 something thousand I think we're on now miles on the 73 power stroke so I wanted to give it a little bit of love I didn't have anything weird binding all the fins look good when I was looking at it but I tore the whole thing apart I put on the new 360 bushings they call them um, so it can spin faster now the Compression wheels and the exit wheels that I got were already balanced from Casey Turbos And I think if you guys are going with a rebuild kit You really should look at Casey Turbos. Hopefully you don't need their customer service for anything But having the fins and everything designed and then balanced and assembled and Marked with paint so that you know when you put it back together and you go to torque it down Where exactly it needs to be to maintain that balancing the exit housing I believe is a little bit larger on the van they have a specific van specific rebuild kit for that turbo. So that's why I went with that because they couldn't tell me if any of their fancy, amazing looking billet, gorgeous looking turbos would work. And if you remember when this happened back in November, I wanted to get this thing back on the road. I didn't want to get it, have to wait two more weeks to a different part or something else that I was going to need to bolt up one of their turbos. So I bit the bullet. And I just rebuilt the stock one. Now I rebuilt it with their internals, as we just said, with a bigger exhaust catch fan. I don't know if that's proper terminology. Um, and I will tell you, I did notice a little bit extra. If you also know, all these mods got put done all at the same time. So there's a few things that I can nail down to what exactly is, is improving my ride, my drivability, the start running, power, all that stuff. But some of it is, is an amalgamation of doing all this stuff at once and the new up pipes, uh, the high pressure oil pump, all that stuff got done at the very same time. Um, the one thing I will let you know that I never had before, and I'm not looking for the, the high pitch, wicked wheel whistle. I'm not looking for any of that. So I was happy to, to note this didn't really change the exhaust note. I can hear a little bit more of the turbo, just a little bit. And then when I stop, and I go to Lowe's and run an air and I jump out of the truck, I can still hear that thing spooling down a little bit. Yeah. 
and that only I can imagine is attributed to a proper rebuild with really nice bushings. So those 360 bushings, everything else is moving so smoothly in there and so well balanced that there's still that extra gas, the turbo is still moving around in there. And so those are the little things that I notice um, as far as it getting on it and knowing exactly what it is of the KC Turbo. Um, the rebuild kit was professionally done. It looked great, it had all the parts that I needed and it looked to be high quality. So if you guys are looking for that, I'm gonna put some links on what I put on the bus and kind of my story of how it went. This isn't anything that you guys can't knock out in an afternoon if you can get to your turbo. I know your truck guys, it's kind of in the back and it's kind of hard to get to. The van guys, we've got the doghouse that comes out. Your turbo is right there. So if you're looking at deleting your EPV valve, putting it in a new pedestal, uh, putting on a new turbo, replacing the O-rings, your up pipes, all that stuff is right back there for our E350 you know, brethren, brethren of the, uh, the Power Stroke world. So that is an, uh, an easier project that's done. Did it all on the bench, followed along, checked a couple YouTube videos just to make sure everything was good, got it all tightened back up, and it's been great. So Casey Turbos for quality, for the product, for the, the fact that it's balanced and pre-done and just a beautiful little package that you can slap in your stock turbo, 10 points, absolutely 10 points. For customer service, I'm trying to figure out how I can get the next level and put a little more cash and get this beautiful billet aluminum turbo that they make. Yeah, zero. Um, I have multiple emails, multiple calls, and just nobody really wanted to help me. So that doesn't give me a lot of confidence if I ever have issues with it, but I know now all I gotta do is order the parts and I can do it all myself. Um, it isn't a big deal. So that gives me a little bit more confidence going down the road that if I have to troubleshoot something, I know how to tear it apart, I know what I'm looking for, I know where the specs are, and yeah. Everything was fantastic going back together. Been really happy with the turbo. Um, this is going on over six months now of using it, so that's kind of why we're doing this review. I know it's more of a, just a talking head video, and I'll put in some photos as we go. Let me know if you guys have any questions, guys. 7.3 Power Stroke with the vans. Be aware that there are some years that are in between stuff, and they used a few parts. So, yeah. Hopefully you're not quite as in a big of a hurry as I was this last fall to get your rig back and this is something you can just do and if it doesn't work out and you need to order another part, I'll put all the parts down that I did and so far everything's been holding up really well. Thanks for watching guys. Wander Beast here. I'm signing off. Have a good day. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.